Uh, today we're going to be testing the tracker light satellite meter that's made by uh, Orbital Tracker on the DirecTV slimline uh, dish with the SL5 LMB. This LMB looks at five different satellites, uh, the 99, the 101, 103, 110, and the 119. Um, with this particular meter we're going to be looking at the uh, 101 and the uh, 119 uh, for alignment. That's pretty much the only two satellites you need to align this dish. Once you peek those out, uh, you're pretty much going to be pretty good on the other ones. Uh, you may need to fine tune it a little bit, but uh, you want to focus on the 101 and the 119. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to power the unit up. I've already uh, custom uh, loaded satellite parameters for the 101 and the 119 that are available on the Orbital Tracker website as well as the uh, satpro.tv website for the uh, tracker light. Uh, you can get that information and just create your own files. It takes about 30 seconds per file to, to add to the meter. It's very simple. You don't need to download anything. You can just manually punch them in. So for the 101, you can see here that uh, I've created a custom file for, for the 101 on, on file number 7 here. Now I shall create another one for uh, file number 6. So I have two files for one, 101. They'll both work fine but you'll just get a little bit of a slight change in the reading. So I'm going to go ahead and connect the unit to the uh, satellite or LMB input uh, port F connector right here on the one that's on the right. It's a standard F connector with the RG6 cable. Go ahead and snug that in there. For whatever event, if the unit were to run out of battery, you could always connect it to the uh, other F connector port, and that basically acts as a pass through so you could power the meter with the satellite receiver. But this has got plenty of battery to power the SL5, so let's go ahead and start our search here. Uh, what I'm going to do now is um, take the meter into search mode, and the way I'm going to do that is by pressing any number on the keypad. You'll see that this particular big window will light up with data. You see there, uh, we're pretty much on the satellite already because we kind of uh, peeked it out, but I want to give you an idea of what you're going to be looking at. With DirecTV in particular, you're not going to get a locked light indicator. You want to focus on the quality bar. Once you get a quality reading, you're on the satellite and you're pretty much doing everything correctly. What you would want to do here is peek out that quality bar uh, to as high as you can get it. Some states you get it as high as 100, some you'll get it as high as uh, 75. So you kind of need to practice and get a reference on, uh, on how you can get that quality bar. But once you get that quality bar over uh, 60, 70, you're, you're pretty much fine. So I'm on 101 here. You can see here that uh, I created the file name 101.0 West. Frequency is 12355. Symbol rate is 20,000. The LO is uh, 11250, which is the uh, local isolator. The LMB volt is 18, and the uh, 22 kilohertz switch is off. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a reference also for the 119. I'm going to take it out of search mode, and I'm going to obviously the the left and right cursor will change through different files. So I'm going to go to the 119 file. You can see here it changed to 119 frequency 12530, symbol rate 20,000, 11250. LMB is 18 here. I'm going to hit here any any number on the keypad to go to search mode you can see there that I'm on the satellite and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take the dish off alignment so you can actually see and you can hear the meter uh, respond to alignment okay here you go you see there quality bar is pretty much zero you can hear the tone it's pretty uh, separated there, and as I get closer, I want you to listen to the tone and listen to the look at the quality bar in the meter. Right there, I'm about 96%. So, what I'll do now is I'll cross-reference the uh, 110 satellite. I'm on 119. Got a solid quality reading. Scroll over to the uh, file number six or seven. Because it's file number seven. You can see the quality bar is a little low here. So definitely you want to fine tune the dish so you can get that to higher reading. 
you can see there that I just fine tuned it. So what you want to do is go back and forth between the 101 and the 119. Peek out those quality bars. You can see how receptive the unit is just by slight adjustments of the dish. You can see how easily it picks up on that. There it's 100% on 101 satellite right there. You can hear that audible tone. It's very distinct. It's a little louder actually. You can actually hear it and you can see it. So we've had uh, very good reviews using the tracker light meter with the Slimline uh, DirecTV dish. Obviously it also works with the elliptical dish which is the 18 by 20 dish uh, that looks at the 101, 110 and 119 as well and we've also had great results obviously with the standard 18 inch dish so as far as uh, DirecTV satellite uh, dishes the tracker light passes with flying colors uh, very good uh, results with the unit and if you have any uh, more questions you could actually go to their site the, the orbital tracker website or you can go to the one of the dealer sites like satpro.tv they've got some pretty good information there I think these these actual videos will be loaded on there so I hope this helps everybody out with their dish installations uh, that's a wrap for the uh, tracker light